Senator Dianne Feinstein says she plans to return to the Senate, but she is not saying when. The 89-year-old senator hasn't been at work since a shingles diagnosis in late February. Her absence has a lot of people upset, including some federal, uh, fellow Democrats. And now the powerful New York Times editorial board is calling for her to step down. Crowd Force Dan Thorne joins us live in the studio tonight with more on this saga. Dan? Grant, Senator Feinstein has missed more than 90 votes since getting sick, and progressive Democrats are getting impatient. One of the biggest concerns is the senator's position on the Judiciary Committee and advancing judicial nominees. Several potential justices are right now stuck, waiting for confirmation as Feinstein remains absent. It's not a matter of if, but when, Senator Feinstein says on her return to the Senate. The 89-year-old hasn't been back to Capitol Hill since the February recess, hospitalized with a case of shingles. Cal State East Bay political science professor Elizabeth Bergman says the senator's nearly two-month absence is a little alarming. It's concerning because she represents 39 million people. We are effectively down one representative in Congress largest state in the union, so it's troubling. The professor points to key votes Feinstein is needed for, including advancing judicial nominees, some of which have been delayed or stuck in committee. Feinstein's absence has triggered several Democrats, including South Bay Congressman Ro Khanna, to call for her resignation. The senator on Thursday released a statement trying to calm concerns, saying the Senate continues to swiftly confirm highly qualified individuals to the federal judiciary, including seven more judicial nominees who were confirmed this week. There has been no slowdown. For her to try to portray it as a kind of a non-factor, I think is uh, disingenuous and doesn't help her case. For her to say that my absence is not having an impact on the committee when we know it is. Bergman says the issue really comes down to Feinstein committing to a timeline. The professor notes that the senator has made countless contributions, but her capabilities are right now in question. And without a sense of urgency from her, it could tarnish that legacy. And no one's disparaging her great legacy and her work and her contribution. Um, looking to the past, there's no question about that. We have to look to the future. And the future is looking pretty bleak right now because we don't have a return date for her. Well, so far, Feinstein's Democratic colleagues in the Senate have not called for her resignation. On Wednesday, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said that he was hopeful Feinstein can return to work next week. In studio, Dan Thorne, Cronfor News.